Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out another video. If you're new, hey, go ahead and uh, subscribe. We'd love to have you. Hey, I've got a product review today for a new magnetic car mount that I wanna try out and see if I think it's a good fit for my Tacoma. Let's go. So on the channel, I like to do mods and product reviews so that you know maybe what to expect from these. Are they worth it? Are they not worth it? Do you want to do that same mod or do you want to buy that same product or not? Well, today I've got a quick mod, pretty simple, and it's a product review at the same time. What I'm talking about is actually a new car phone mount that you can use to put on your Tacoma or any truck. Now, this is from Vixseed. I'll put a link down below, but hey, you may want to hold on and see what I have to say about it first. Let's check out what's in the box. You got some instructions. You've got the mount. Got a little packet right in there accessories got several things in here so you've got some let's see a couple circular mounts they got 3m tape on the back kind of set this stuff down here you've also got the square metal plate mounts and then you've got these these are Essentially, if you're putting these on the back of something that isn't a flat surface, maybe it's got a texture, I think that's what these are used for. And then, of course, you've got some cleaning wipes to clean things off. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I've been using the carmount.com mount. I found a good place to stick it. Uh, it's worked really well. If you want to see the review for that, I'll go ahead and link to that video up in the description. But, but I recently got a new cell phone and with that new cell phone, I haven't actually put the plate on the back of my case. So I've actually been looking for another option. So here's the actual mount, as you can see. It's got some teeth in the back. It's obviously got a pretty big spot right there, uh, much bigger than the car mount. So I'm curious to see how it'll do. And then always, as always, how well are these clamps going to actually stay on and work for holding on to the phone. Really what I'm looking at a mount is two things. How well does it stay on the car and how well does the phone stay on the mount, right? Pretty simple stuff. All right, reading through the instructions, first thing you need to decide is, are you going to go with one of the square mounts or are you gonna go with the round mounts? There are two round plates. One is thinner, one is thicker. And then the goal of these is actually that you put this on either your case or onto the phone. It gives it a better adhesive for the 3M tape it also, I believe, makes it easier if you want to remove it because then you're just pulling this off with this. This is a pretty strong tape that's going to hold on to here, but this is going to be easier to remove off of your phone should you switch cases, switch phones, or decide to go with a different mount. On my phone, what I've decided is I'm actually going to go with the square metal mount about right in the middle, and let's see how that holds up. As you can see, I have the MagSafe case, and this is the iPhone 13. This is part of my everyday carry. If you haven't watched my EDC video, I'll go ahead and uh, link to it up, up above and maybe even down in the description. But what I'm curious about is even before I put this adhesive on, I wouldn't hook it to my phone. I just do it on my phone case. But if I put the metal on, I'm definitely gonna be blocking my MagSafe case. Now, I don't have any MagSafe accessories, so this may not be a big deal. And if I can use these, which means I could remove it, it may be worth trying. But even before then, I want to test out the magnet just by putting the metal in. My case is pretty tight, so I think my case actually will hold it there. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead, put this in here, close up my phone. Let's install the vent mount and see how well this thing holds up. So here's where my other car mount is. Let's start out by installing this and let's see how well it holds in place then we'll put the phone on it something to note about this is you know a lot of the phone mounts i've seen kind of have these little clamps which this does but then there's this tightening portion here so i think we can really tighten it down to make sure it's going to stay on there all right 
So this is a phone mount, right? Not rocket science. I'm gonna put it on right there. Then we're actually going to, if you can see there, we're gonna tighten down that little piece right in there. And that is what will hold it. Kind of turn this and spin this, cause that's what, kind of spinning this, that's obviously what the vents do on the Tacoma. You notice once it's in there, because I put it on the top, this isn't gonna move, meaning the vents aren't gonna move up and down. I've got that plate right here in the back. I've got this connected. Seems pretty sturdy. You'll notice the difference here. I do like the smaller profile, but this does have a wider, bigger space on it. You can kind of hear that click into place as I put that on there. I mean, it seems pretty sturdy. Again, I haven't even taken this off. This isn't even connected to my phone. It's just sitting in that case. But you can see how well it sticks into place. I mean, it takes a little bit of a shake to pull it off. And honestly, you know, when you look at this, there is some give up and down, but that is really coming from the vent itself. As far as it actually holding on, look, I really like, again, the low profile of the carmount.com one, but with this Vic Seed, I definitely think it is a stronger hold by far on my phone. So let me give you what I see are the pros and the cons for this magnetic car mount. I think the pros are it's got a big wide circle space on it so it's got a lot of surface area of that magnet to be able to connect. Also it comes with two circle mounts, a thinner and a thicker one, and two triangular mounts. Plus it's got that extra little sticker or film that you can put on first that should make it easier to come off. So the fact that you have lots of options, I think that that is a huge advantage of it. Third, and this is gonna be both a pro and a con, but because it's a vent mount, it's not actually sticking onto my vehicle. You know, my car mount one, I had to actually stick it on, and in fact, I didn't like the original location, had to peel it off, wash it off, put it on another spot. I have the feeling that I can only do that so many times before it's just not gonna stick as well as it should. With this vent mount, I can just unscrew it, and I can move it in between cars, in between vents, and easily be able to put it in a different spot in my Tacoma. Now for the cons, it is a vent mount. And like I mentioned before, with those big circle, wide open vents, uh, the Tacoma isn't actually one of the better vehicles for a vent mount. Kind of your more traditional vents are a little bit more suited for this type of a mount. So I do think that that's a con. The other thing is, you know, when I'm driving around, I like to have a lot of air, whether it's heat, whether it's air conditioning. So I don't love the idea of covering up a mount and I live in a cold climate, so I've got a lot of times where I'm driving in the winter, and that means I've got hot air blowing, so I've either got to close that mount, or I've got to be worried about that hot air hitting my cell phone, and iPhones are, are known to overheat. All right, let's wrap it up. In conclusion, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, I don't love vent mounts, and so I'm going to try it out for a couple of weeks, see if I really want to have a vent mount covering it up. You know, it is winter, it is January, so I do have the heat on. I'm probably going to have to close that mount so I don't have the heat hitting my phone the whole time, but I'm going to test it out, see if I like it. Um, if you are a vent mount person, this is maybe a good one for you to check out. Again, I'll link down in the description. If you're not a vent mount person, then, you know, this is a big, big circle on the end of it. Um, it's a little bit bigger overall just piece and so you know if you would rather put something that sticks to your dash or sticks up to your window then yeah this is probably one that I would stay away from. Hey I hope this product review was helpful for you. Uh, there's lots of options out there when it comes to the Tacoma. Lots of third-party companies that are making different mounts, different mods, different accessories. It's one of the things I absolutely love about the Tacoma. If there's something that you found out there that you think I would like to get on my Tacoma, let me know. I'm looking to figure out what those next mods are. What are those next accessories? All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.